Okay, so welcome back um, to another episode. So this one, I want to show you a way you can use ImageJ to measure um, experiment, to basically ex record experimental data. So I'm going to start with this. So this was kind of the fairly classic experiment with um, we made auger plates, sorry, not auger plates, gelatin plates, 3% gelatin, poured it in here, let it cool in the refrigerator, and basically tried some different size holes and then added 1% pepsin solution into those. And the idea here being that the pepsin will digest the gelatin and that hole will become bigger over time. Um, I also added a ruler here to set the scale for later. Um, so this, you know, this experiment can be done. This can be done in bacteria with a zone of inhibition. Lots of different um, ideas here, but you know, the the tricky part is always kind of measuring it, and, and it doesn't ever form a perfect circle. So you know, how do you measure that accurately? Um, so ImageJ is a good tool that can accurately measure what you're looking can ac accurately measure that. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to zoom in on the um, ruler. So the reason, the whole reason I use a ruler here is simply so that I can set the scale. So I want to basically say that that distance is equal to 10, millil 10 millimeters. So what I do here, so I, I use this line, the straight line, I drew it, and then I'm going to set scale. So that's a distance in pixels. The known distance is 10 millimeters, and I'm going to click it on global. So what global means is as long as I have that, as long as ImageJ is open, it'll use this, this scale here to measure everything there. So if you've set this up right, and we set this up on a retort stand with a camera right on top, the distance never changed. Every picture I, I, I take in that situation that scale can be used. You don't have to set that up every single time, for example. Okay, so once that's set up, then I zoom in and, and we basically did different types of um, different holes because we weren't sure which one was going to work. So better to, to try, try a few of them. They all seem to work. I'm just going to show you how to measure on this middle one. So I've set the scale. I can use this tool to measure the size. Now, these weren't the best made holes. We realized that the auger was soft because it was outside. So next time we did this, we took it straight from the refrigerator. But I can use this one, this freehand selection. And I basically drew the area there. I go up to Analyze. I hit Measure. And it gives me the area of that particular measurement. Okay, so, so very useful. That's our starting point. Now, what we did is we, we put it in the refrigerator for eight hours, and we did that because Thailand's too hot, and the auger actually ended up melting um, if we left it out. So it's a good reason not to, to do it that way. So eight hours later, we came back, and here's our measurement. Now, funny enough, the student was kind of like, oh, it looks exactly the same. I don't think it's working. Now, I wasn't so sure. So... I'm measuring this out. This isn't probably the best measurement, but it, I measured it out like this, took the measurements, and you can see it got a little bit bigger. Um, not a huge, huge amount bigger, but a little bit. Um, the next thing then is we left it for eight for um, 28 hours, so overnight in the fridge, and to see what the best time was. Because again, it's it's just too hot here to leave it out. So after that time, we can measure it here. And it, it kind of looks like it went around here. Now, th th this is really hard to see. What we ended up doing later, the best measurement, but it'll be OK. What we ended up doing later was um, using blue colors to make it a little bit easier to do that. So then you see here, it got a little bit bigger. So it's a really easy way to measure things accurately as long as you kind of set that stuff up correctly and using kind of the same distance from the camera when you take the pictures and making sure you have a scale there that, that works. 
So I hope that's that's useful to somebody. Um, these aren't the best 